Never saw Spider-Man. The first 3D Spider-Man. It came out... Uh... 23 years ago. Fuck. I played it for the very first time, live, on stream, since I never played it. I love Spider-Man. I grew up playing this game instead. And this one. And this one. And this one too. But I'm not going to stop here. I'm going to play all the 3D Spider-Man games. Mostly to rate all the suits in the games from 1 to 10. Using this awesome state-of-the-art rating system I made myself. You're probably wondering why don't I just use a tier list. Well, cause you know, this is more unique I guess. You know, I made it. And uh, cause, uh, fuck you. From shit, because, you know, shit is pretty bad. To awful, bad, eh, okay, fine, neat, great, amazing, and spectacular. I'm also going to talk about the game just a little bit before I get into the suits. Not super in-depth like a game review or anything because I'm sure there's better reviews and better videos out there. Alright, let's get into the game. Whoa, what's the item hit? At least we're seeing all the cool death animations. So that's neat. <laughs> you gotta be eating my ass. <clears throat> so, after legally obtaining this game through legal means, I'd say it was worth it. I was really excited to play this game and the intro had me fucking going. Look, it's Tom Hardy. It would be so awesome. The gameplay was kind of fun. Yeah, fuck you. But the swinging mechanics were kind of wonky. Okay, the story was really awesome too. First I was saving hostages. And then I almost fucked up with the bomb. Okay. Fuck. Okay, throw that over there. And we're gonna throw this over here, I guess. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Please, God, help. Oh, I know. Oh, huh. big safe. I know what to do. I know what to do. Ooh. Zip it. Woo! Not this time, guys. Then I was running away from cops. And then I was fighting lizards on the fucking train. And then I was fighting Venom. And then, like, a ton of shit. There were so many cool villains too, like Scorpion, Doc Ock, Carnage. Like, what the fuck? I can't forget about the cameos too. You got Daredevil Poppy in to see if Spider-Man's fucking up shit up. And the fucking Punisher, like, damn. Even Captain America pops in the end to help out. These days, it's always like a shocking surprise when like an Avenger like comes in to like help out. And it's, it's, you can like especially see it in the movies these days. But like, it kind of makes me wish like shit was casual. Like, oh, there's there's a devil checking on on Spider Man. Help, oh, just Captain America helping out Spider Man. You know, they're around. It's, it's the fucking. It's a big universe. It's a big world full of. Heroes. Ah well. Overall, I had a really fun time. I never owned a PlayStation 1 before. I was only playing on a PlayStation 2. But this was very much worth it. And I can't wait to play the sequel. And especially the games afterwards. Alright, you probably skipped ahead to this part. Or maybe you didn't and you stuck around. Good for you. Anyways, let's start with the classic suit. Before I continue, I should say that this is from the PlayStation 1, so of course it's gonna look a little bad, but that's not the point. The point is, is that it has a certain charm to it that the PS1 can only replicate. Okay, and another thing, and first thing, 
is that there's something missing. Can you tell? Yeah, the webbing is gone. I'm pretty sure somebody talked about this, right? Like, I, I can't be the only one. But it's also not a bad thing either. It actually looks pretty good. Like I said, charm. There's this awesome comparison video that I'm showing right now. And you can see the webbing. The models look just way better on the Dreamcast and the PC version. But I'm only, you know, doing the PlayStation 1 since that's where it came out first. You should check out this video afterwards since, you know, I'm borrowing it. <laughs> it's pretty neat. I'll put the link in the description. Anyways, back to the suit. The red has that soft looking texture. I can't describe it. Everything else with the colors work perfectly. The red has a hint of orange. Like, it's, it, it's kind of in the, in the mask a little bit too. The lenses remind me of Seth MacFarlane's uh, suit design. And I like those lenses a lot. I don't know, the big lenses just kind of hit different, you know what I'm saying? Now I have to bring up the back emblem, you know, the fat spider. I'm sure there's people who don't like the fat spider symbol, myself included when I was a young kid, but I was an idiot, so I didn't know any better. It also changes from time to time, mostly with the movies. It's always a very straight edge, edgy looking uh, back spider symbol. And it looks great with those movies. Except for the Civil War suit that Tom Holland wore. And you can't really change it, unless it's in the movies, because that's what sets it apart. Who knows, maybe we'll see a Fat Spider logo in the future. A proper one, you know? Anyways, we have to move on. So, besides the weird cloudy thing on his fist and on his shoulders sometimes, this suit is a guaranteed 9. It's amazing. Man, that took a minute. I'll try not to take too much time. Anyways, let's go see the other suits. Alright, oh, oh, uh, shit. Hold on. Man, remember cheat codes? Good times. Okay, the 2099 suit. This was definitely during the time when he wasn't so popular. Am I getting that right? And this suit isn't that bad at all. There's always the issue that it's supposed to be black and not blue. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the blue is actually the tint, you know, from all the futuristic space stuff in the future. And it's supposed to be black and red. Look. And I just realized I'm going off track. I'm very sorry. Blue or black. It doesn't matter, it looks good. The red is a little light. It's like a tan red as opposed to the blood bright red to the left here. There's one more thing I have to bring up and it's the fact that it doesn't have a back symbol. And you're probably wondering, well of course you fucking numbskull, it, it never had one. Well, I have to prepare you because in one or two games, if I remember correctly, they add one for some reason. And I'm just preparing you mentally before we get we, before we get there, okay? Overall, for the PlayStation 1, it's a very good representation of the suit. And it doesn't have the side claws on the arms, if you know what I mean. And it kinda, it's kind of a bummer, and instead it goes for a straight line, which is kind of lame. But it's not bad, and I'm pretty sure they couldn't do that, right? So, oh well. Placing it into the rating system, it's... It's a 9, like, there's nothing wrong about it, except for the weird lines on the arms. And, well, it's the 2099 suit, like, what, what, what are you expecting here, right? They did a good job. I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. I feel like I shouldn't really even talk about this suit, like, it's the symbiote suit, like, everybody fucking loves this thing. I love this thing. Do you really want me to go over this suit in depth when you, when you know what rating I'm gonna give it? I might as well say it right now that I'm not going for comic accuracy alone. I'm going for how it looks, and if you would wear it in the game, like, would you wear this? And this is, like, yes. I'm gonna fucking wear this. It looks awesome. Sure, maybe the emblem on the front looks a little too wide. But I don't fucking care. It looks awesome. It might even be a little too blue for my liking, but 
Regardless, this is a 10 out of 10 for me. And if you disagree, then let me know what you think. Pretty sure down the line, we're just gonna make these suits 10 out of 10. Who knows, we might find a shitty one. Impossible, but you never know. One of the most powerful Spider-Man of all, and I say was, cause uh, he's dead. For a while, the suit always looked weird to me, in general. That's cause I never really knew what it was, or what Captain Universe is in general. But, you know, once I did figure it out, I realized how the importance of Captain Universe and it, the, the suit's grown on me ever since. However, this suit is kinda lacking, like... They messed up the eyes and it looks dopey. Um, the, they could've used more of the stars that they used in the chest and the back. And like spread it across the arms and the mask itself. Without the lines on the red, kinda looks just weird. You know, the webbing like I talked about earlier. And they reused the blue texture from the symbiote Spider-Man. And it would be fine if they added more, you know, stuff on top of the blue. Despite all the issues, it's still a neat suit. I would see myself wearing this, and it's nice to see Captain Universe Spider-Man once in a while, you know? We don't see enough of him. Probably because uh, he's dead. So... I did not expect to see this suit at all in this game. Then again, it's from 2000, so... It's from a cancelled TV show of Spider-Man. And I say cancel because it wasn't that good at all. If you want to find out more, you should check out this video that's on the screen right now. The link is in the description. Unfortunately, as cool as this suit is, it did not um, translate very well into this game. This suit would have really benefited from like any kind of black to help with the blue because it just, it just looks like an offshoot, like a weird version of the Ben Riley suit. They did do some things right, like um, the calves and, you know, the arms, they're fine, as well as the symbols. But there's a weird v-neck going on, like, for some reason, like, why, why did they do that? <laughs> it really does suck because I'm pretty sure this is the only time we're ever going to see a Spider-Man Unlimited suit, and it's in this game. We're never going to see revised or, like, look better. And as a kid, I would have been disappointed that this is the Spider-Man alumni suit I got. But then again, I'm dumb, so I wouldn't really care. So, there's that. I'm just gonna put this at a good 4. I really wish I could put it more above, but... It really doesn't look that good in the game. And I'm sure there's like, you know, limitations and whatever. Oh, and I would mention the cape, but like... Did, 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 you, did you really ex expect the cape here? No. Okay? No. God fucking damn it. Okay, um... Remember when I said I'm not just going for comic accuracy? Like, it plays a part. I'm not just going for how accurate it is from comic to the game. I'm also seeing how good it looks. Like, does it look nice? Does it look good does it translate well in this game did they screw up making this suit maybe there's a little issue here maybe there isn't and would you wear this suit i would not it works in the sense that it's a joke costume and you put it on for a few minutes or so you laugh a little you see how it looks in the cutscene and then it, it just runs out there's some masochists out there who would wear this for their playthrough and in future games and they, they enjoy it Good for you, but not not for me, man. It's it sucks that it, it's like a sl like it wastes a slot in like games where another suit could have been in here. But we have the amazing bag, man. Cool. Thanks. It's a bad costume. Like that's the point, right? It's a bad costume, so it's a number three. It's bad, and I'm not just I'm not even gonna bother asking why there isn't a four on the chest and like a, it's a weird symbol. So we're just gonna move on. Okay, now we're getting right back into the good suits. So the Scarlet Spider, who was Ben Riley, the clone of Peter Parker, who's like a villain now for some reason. 
they keep making them too villain. Any anyways, I've always been a little weird about this version of the suit. Like, I love the hoodie. I'm kind of digging the red and stuff. But there's something about, like, the ankle and the bracelets he's wearing all the time. If you happen to notice that the chest symbol is always, like, tilted. It's always angled. But in this game, it's just, you know, normal. I can forgive the game for that. I don't mind. The, the, the lenses look awesome. It's a weird vest, so it doesn't look m like a hoodie. So that's that's kind of weird looking at it now, but overall, it's 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 not bad. It's not bad at all. I'm not sure where to put this uh, suit, actually. I'm not sure, because, you know, I bet a lot of people like this version of the suit. I don't want to, like, make them mad or anything. I, sa I saved myself from being crucified if I didn't put the symbiote suit on the 10 out of 10 earlier and the amazing Bagman fans I, I can hear them outside already like they're, they're knocking on my door they're, they're about to barge in so I'm just gonna go for a great because it looks good in this game you know we can we can ignore the mistakes the little issues it's the PlayStation 1 you know it's the first 3d spider-man game all right so let's move on a really truly underrated suit that we do not see often and it's a shame because this suit is really cool and awesome this suit is its own thing and it does it very well considering that this is a different spider-man since peter parker left and left the spider-man duty to ben riley remember the uh, spider-man unlimited suit from earlier well this does that better and it's even comic accurate too you don't see the suit very often when you do it's always a treat the lenses are the same too, and I don't mind it on this suit. The bright blue actually kind of helps with this costume compared to Spider-Man Unlimited. I wish there was more to say about this costume, but I mean, like, I like it. I like it a lot, you know? It makes me wish the webbing was there, but oh well. You know, that's the charm of this game, like I said earlier. And you know, it's this game's Ben Riley suit. So plugging this thing into the moist meter, I, I mean the, the the rating system, this is a 10 out of 10 spectacular suit. I would wear this, you know, in the game if I ever wanted to play it again one day. Probably not. I swear to god, if you don't see this suit in Spider-Man 2, I, it's just, come on man. Let's see it. Let's see it. HD, PlayStation 5. Come on. Do it. Alright. Let's move on to the final suit. Finally. So, the 20 people who uh, watch my channel um, probably know that I I'm kind of into the whole jacket wearing Spider-Man thing going on. It's kind of like the same thing where people like the hoodie that's on uh, Miles Morales, you know, like the casual clothing on top of the Spider-Man suits. That's a, that's a bit of a trend going on these days. While this suit is a reference to the comic, and I don't think it has a proper name, I don't mind how it looks on Spider-Man at all, you know? I don't mind the jacket, the pants, the shoes. I mean, I guess he's not wearing shoes in this one, but I don't mind it. Now, of course, um, they kind of didn't make the jacket brown for some reason. And uh, my favorite color is actually brown. I'm not, that's not a joke. It's, it's my favorite color. So it kind of sucks seeing that they use black, like the black, the gray for this specific jacket and it's the same jacket and shirt that Peter Parker wears in the cutscene too so they kind of just reuse that for this suit so it's kind of it's kind of it kind of it kind of sucks this suit from the comics is actually kind of like one of my favorites and it's like neat to see a reference to it in this game but you know they got the colors wrong and they kind of just reuse the assets which is fine you know I don't mind it it's just you know, it's nice to have it here at least, but I feel like they could have added like another suit to cha to replace this one. Uh, but they probably didn't have the time. I'm just gonna stick this suit into number 5. It's not hurting anybody and it's not the greatest either, but you know, that's I, I feel like that's where it should belong. Alright, I did it. Oh, wait. Okay, I forgot to mention this suit because I, I couldn't view it. It's not a costume, it's a power-up. But uh, to quickly just you know, say it, it's a 10, like, this suit is fucking awesome, even though 
He wears it once in the comics and it's like never again seen but it's always nice to see it and it's always a cool looking fucking suit and the fact that it's a cool power up it's like armor that breaks off and you don't lose any health like that's awesome i love that Whew. okay oh man all right i'm just gonna speak from the heart here but damn this is this has been the longest video you know so far up to date and it's been a little hard to work on this but it's also been fun too to um you know like look at all these suits rate them you know make my own little rating system like that that was really fun i've always been a very huge nerd like growing up you know playing games and shit you know i'm i I'm, I'm not i don't only love spider-man i love other things like zelda silent hill metal gear like i i like about everything and if this doesn't show how big of a nerd I am with this fucking video I spent like days working on, then like, I, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> if you stuck around by the end or you skipped ahead, then like, I really appreciate it. Like you going through this video, like at least, you know, you skimmed or you didn't, then like, yeah, th thank you. Um, I'm not one for like, you know, like asking you to subscribe. And if I do, I do for text. And you really don't have to, but, you know, it's just the press of a button. Or you could just, you know, tell me to go fuck myself and never come back again. You know, that works too. Alright, I'm not gonna make this video any more long than it is. So, uh, I'll see you later. And if you want, you could definitely, uh, come by and catch me live playing the Spider-Man 2 Enter Electro. Or, or check out these videos instead. Trust me, they're also really good. And shorter than this one too. <laughs> Alright, see you guys next time.